Hello everybody and welcome to One Player. Today we're journeying into Dragonwood. This game holds quite a special place in my heart just because it's the game or one of the first games I was able to get my son to play over and over and over and over again with me. Um, which just is, is a great, great feeling. It's a pretty straightforward game. It's set collection. It's a little bit of dice rolling. It's a little bit of luck. It's a little bit of... Yeah, it's just good fun. I was looking through the board game closet and I thought, well, I've got 20 minutes. What do I want to play? And it's, it's just nice. It's a nice game. It's just, it feels nice. Everyone's magical or hungry or crazy. There's no, you know, even the ogre, he's a big guy, but I'm not even that scared of him. He looks just, I'll give him a little belly rub. He's fine. We're gonna, there's not a solo mode for this game, but since we're only really just playing to get victory points anyway, because it's one of those games where you don't play against each other really, you play against the game. So I figure we could probably just tweak the rules a little bit. One of the rules is that when you pull cards, you have to pull one at a time, which kind of builds your set very slowly. I'm gonna change that and give us five at a time, or at least to reload to a hand of five. So at least we've got a chance to play things. And then I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of an Ascension-esque thing where I'm gonna give the AI, AI, the last card um, for free and then just slide them down and keep playing. So they're going to win everything or they're going to win a thing each turn. We can either pull cards or or fight. And I think it will be about balanced. Let's just give it a go. I don't know. And then obviously just special shout out to this awesome dice tower that I just finished printing. Um, spray painted in, of course, metallic silver, because that's what color everybody's castle should be. Um, and this little gate here will stop the dice flinging everywhere. Fantastic. We're going to pull five cards, and then let's take our first turn. What we are trying to do, you'll notice that there is four numbers on the bottom of each of these cards. This is the amount of victory points we will win if we defeat um, the hungry bear here. And then we've got three different attacks. We've got a strike, we've got a stomp, we've got a scream. And these points are what we need to roll on the dice um, to be able to defeat it. We can choose any one of these. A strike, we'd have to have numbers in a row. Stomp, we have to have the same number. Um, and scream, we have to have the same color. And that's all going on on these cards here. So what I've drawn is two oranges and one, uh, sorry, two greens and three oranges. So if I, for example, I was to go for that scream of the same color, I could place down these three cards. I can roll three dice, because I've got three cards of the same color, and I could try to get a score of nine, in this case, on the hungry bear. If I got a score of nine off my three dice, then I would be able to keep this, and then we'd move on. With that said, I think that is exactly what I'm gonna do, because I've just talked myself into it, um, except I'm gonna aim for this fierce jaguar instead, because one, I don't want the AI to get it, and two, it's actually slightly less powerful than the bear, so you only have to get eight. So, scoring eight on three dice shouldn't be too hard, should it? No, it should not, because I've scored exactly eight. Three, three, and a two. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it down here in my kind of like victory pile. And then these are gonna go in a discard pile just off camera. And then we're gonna replace this card. And then, oh my gosh, of course it's something massive with great victory points. And then this card is gonna go to the AI. I'm gonna place it up there. Then I'll do a little slidey, cause you know, we're getting Ascension-esque. We might as well do some sliding. And then we've pulled some fire ants. So, then I guess I can choose whether to either go for two um, being the same color so I can scream at somebody or I can choose to reload and pull cards up to five which I think I will do and I think this will work oh draw two cards look at that a nice I mean I told you this game is adorable look she's literally she's winking at you come on so two cards a nice wink oh Oh boy, and another two cards. My hand maximum is nine in the regular game, so I guess I'll play to that. Um, and then what that means is that the AI is gonna pull this magical unicorn, which I don't mind, because they don't get any points for that. Um, I should say the purples are kind of like abilities that we get to keep, so um, add a one point or capture attempts, for example. And then, well now what are we gonna do? We've got, got a couple of sixes got one two three that's pretty nice so that's a strike that will be the top 
number on our cards. So we could strike the bear. Yeah, okay, let, let's let's go for a strike on the bear. So he, we need seven. We're gonna roll three, because we've played one, two, three cards. And scoring seven. Oh, we've done it again. We've scored eight. So there's the hungry bear, and we have captured him well and truly. And the AI will get a pack of wolves for their next turn. Pack of wolves goes to the AI, and we'll do a little slide. Yeah, see, this seems relatively balanced. I mean, they're winning, but not by much. I've got six here, six. They've got eight. I think this is. I think this will work out. We're just making it up on the fly here. That's what you got to do when you when you when you go in solitaire. Figure it out. Now what? Should we play? We could play a stump. Just play a stump. Well, that is two same numbers. We get to roll two dice. And, uh, well, I guess we'll do it against... Do we think we can get two twos? Or should we play it safe and go for a two and a one? Two twos does get you two points. All right, we're stomping on those fire ants. And it makes more sense. You can't stomp on a bat, can you? Oh, look at that. He's got five. And that's the fire ants captured as well. Things are going very well on our adventure so far. Wow, that's a lot of bats. Oh, I forgot that we should have done the angry ogre because... Well, we should have tried at least. Ah, rubbish. All right, so now we've just got bats and a troll and some more wolves. All right, well, I can't do anything because I don't have... Well, I, I mean, I guess I could, but I, I don't think I'm going to. I guess I could scream at a bat. I've never said that before, and I probably never will again. I'm going to draw three cards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a three, four, five in there. That's pretty decent. So the AI is going to pull a bat. And we'll just let him have all these bats. I don't care about them. They're only one point and they just keep him busy there. All right. What did we say we have? Three, four, five. So then that's a strike, which would be maybe on this guy or maybe on the pack of wolves. Yeah, let's go for the pack of wolves. That seems a bit more of a sure bet. We only need to score six. Got nine destroyed those pack of wolves. Whoops, I don't want to slide. I only slide when I'm moving pieces down from the boss. So, the boss, the AI, the forest, I don't know who we're playing. The dragons? Maybe the dragons are doing it? You know, I haven't quite worked out the story, the backstory for this, but you know what? We're going to take some cards and we've got a couple of tens. That's good. They're going to take the last of the bats. And uh, now these purple cards are all lining up and... I'm kind of interested in that. See, this one we can add two points to any strike. This one we add two points to any stump. And this one we can use just one time to add four points to any capture attempt, which would be nice to save for the dragons because those are obviously the most powerful cards. Do we do two tens and go for a stump? I mean, this one ongoing to any strike is pretty nice. Yeah, let's... Uh, let, let's... Let's... Let's stomp this lightning. That sounds super metal. Oh crap, we've only got four. All right, so then if it's if we lose, we have to get rid of one of our cards and then we keep the rest. So we got rid of one there and kept the other. They claim the grumpy troll, which I then scoot all these down. They're about to get that silver sword. Um, I'm gonna have to, oh, I guess I could do eight, nine, 10. That's what is that, strike? I'll do a strike three dice and let's go for should we go for the lightning bolt again i guess or the spinach spinach for seven yeah there we go do you see those yeah you can see those all right i just realize i'm rolling dice and just not necessarily mentioning that outcome but you can see them all right we got some spinach i'm going to keep this down here I'll keep it right here, actually, so you can see it. And we're going to add two points to any stump. <laughs> Adorable. Like, he's not, he, has, um, he doesn't even have a weapon. He's just laughing. Don't know why. He, if you're going to stump him, it feels quite a bit of overkill, to be honest. Um, so they're going to get the silver sword. We're going to slide that and then do this. A nice wild boar. And then I'm going to have to reload to five because I don't have any other choice. Those are decent. We've got three of the same color, so he's going to get the goblin, because we did that. Maybe I'll get this lightning bolt this next turn. Another giggling goblin. They're just laughing it up in this wood. Just having a grand old time. All right, we've got two nines, so I think we'll do two nines, maybe. Because then we can add two points to it, see? Two nines was trying to score five, and we've got... Well, actually, we only really need to score three, so let's give it a go. Oh, whew, 
lucky actually we did that we've scored three two bonus points to any stomp so we can add a lightning bolt to our bucket of tricks basket of tricks well bucket of spinach so i guess we'll just put the lightning bolt in with that bit of a weird mixture oh come on so now i've automatically given him the dragon the most powerful dragon i suppose that's what you get for choosing cards on the end you're playing a playing a lucky dip with the uh with the deck what have we got now we've got a strike 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 we could try and strike someone we have to get a f three and a four which is pretty hefty to get a seven or do we just reload oh, i guess we reload i feel like i'm falling behind i mean certainly that dragon hasn't done me any good all players draw two cards well you're not a player so that's where my benefit comes in for being you know the human persuasion let's see we've got four massive scream cards so i guess we could do that do we need to play all four to be honest probably not although there's not really any other benefit to keeping anything else is there really well i guess there's one two or six and seven for a strike in the future yeah let's just do i don't know let's just do this so then we're going to roll three and we're trying to score seven so that's about two and a two and a bit for each dice that's that's just about well, that was rubbish. I should have rolled another. What would happen if I rolled another? I would have got him. That's seven. Fine. So I get to lose one of these because I made a foolish decision. I tried to get too cocky. Hungry Bear gets taken over by the AI. Whatever he is, dragon. All players must discard a card. Ugh. Get out. I guess this ten's going. And what's this? Cloak of Darkness. Add two points to all capture attempts. That's pretty nice. Although we're getting quite close to the end of the game. I don't know if it's worth... You know, we're nearly through the deck. I don't know if it's actually worth doing. Let's see. We've got one, two, six, seven. We could do... Numbers in a row. We have to strike something. We've, we've either got... I really do want to save the... Oh, I should have used my... I could have used my lightning bolt to get the bear, couldn't I? Although, I do want to save it for the dragon. To be honest same number we don't have any same numbers we've got do we just reload is that what we're gonna do yeah i think we're just gonna re or do we get a giggling giggling let's get a goblin same number same color let's just do that two and i'm gonna try and roll five come on i'll get get better i've rolled a three so <laughs> i'm not doing very well the dice are not playing they're not playing to my favor here there's the dragon there's that dragon that we knew was coming. So I'm going to reload this rubbish hand. AI gets that, and then we slide that. I mean, to be fair, we do only need to score, what, numbers in a row? We've suddenly got two numbers in a row, so we'd have to score. All right, here's what we could do. If we played, like, just even one card, right, we'd roll one dice. We'd need it to be a four, because then we can add six points to it as a stomp to capture the dragon. Is this worth it, I hear you say? I don't know, probably not. The other option is to do maybe the Fierce Jaguar, but then same thing, I'd still have to score a four if I only play one card. Ooh, tricky decisions. Did I say this game was simple? Look at this, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the midst of a dilemma here. Or do I pick up some more cards? I didn't say, I didn't give myself a rule to say how many cards I could have. I mean, in the, in the manual it says nine, but I've been drawing to a hand of five. I don't, I don't know what to do. I could draw four more and then just really be OP. Give him the mushroom, because I don't mind that. I guess we'll do that. I mean, is that cheating? Probably a little bit. I mean, it hasn't really worked out in my favor that much, although I do have a pretty big, I do have a pretty big hand of red cards now. So let's see. Um, so if we do a scream, let's see, we could, we could roll we could roll four dice for that scream and we'd have to score 13 so that's still that's an average of about what three and a bit but then we could add four points to it so let's do that four dice come on we need to score nine. Oh, he's only gonna done it four four eleven twelve get screamed you have been defeated i feel good about that they win the wild boar which is less good I should have put that there, and now we've got some spooky spiders. All right, let's see what we've got left in our hand. We've got a 9, 11, a 1, a 7, and a 4. Well, 
I mean, the, really the only option is to try and get that Jaguar, isn't it, really? So what are we trying to do? Are we trying to get... We've got four points left to claim, so do we just... Well, let's, get the, let's get the spiders first. We're going to roll one dice, and we're going to try and score one. Well, it's guaranteed. I don't know if I had to point that out, but that's a three. So I've scored three and got the spooky spiders. That's good. Then... Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just reloaded. Oh no, because now I want to reload, but I don't... Oh, that was so stupid. Okay, fine, whatever. So I'm going to do two dice to get... Well, okay, here's my question. Do I do two to try and get... Oh, I forgot that I, I did use my lightning bolt, didn't I? On the dragon. I was just about to say, because that would be really nice. Um, so I've got... I can still add two points for every stump, so I'd have to score four if I just played one card the same number you can just play one I don't know if I explained that or not or I could scream and roll two but I'd still have to I'd have to roll two fours or one four so I suppose the the chances of rolling one four I, d I don't know ah oh, it's a three <laughs> oh, I give up with this game it's not even a solitaire game it's not even it's not even meant to be played with one player what are you doing All right, let's see how many points he's got. Maybe I'll take a break here or I'll just speed it up or something. Three. 45 points. There's no way I've got 45 points in here. 10, 15, 18. It's an absolute rout. Well, I need to come up with a different rule set because this isn't fair, okay? This isn't fair. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in, in the comments below. How do, we make this, how do we make this more balanced? How do we make it... How do I make this AI not so overpowered that he's just destroying me by 4x points? Anyway, that was Dragonwood. It wasn't really Dragonwood, it was my kind of like messed up solitaire version of Dragonwood. But I, I promise, if you've got kids and you want them to play board games, this is it. This is the one you need, this is the board game you need to get them. This is what you need, it's like... It's like, you saw it's like it's like rummy but with with dice and it's just great and there's friendly bunnies in it oh it's wonderful that's gonna be it from me thanks so much for watching don't forget to uh drop a like or like i said leave me a comment if you've got any suggestions for solo solo rules and let me know if there's any other games you want me to see or you want you want to see played on the table i'll do my best to uh to get them out on here yeah maybe even consider you know hitting the subscribe button if you want to see more board game related content yeah that's gonna be it from me I will, uh, I'll see you later.